All right, this is Dan, Hardwood Hollow Bushcraft and Tactical. Uh, this is going to be a uh, another product review, and this product review is going to be the uh, Mark All Silver Streak Marking Pencil. So let me show you the package, and then we'll do some testing. Okay, Mark All Silver Streak, and this is generally speaking, it's for metal marking. It will mark on other materials, but it's predom predominantly a metal marking. Uh, pencil for um, welding, machining, that sort of thing, and they claim that it will, in fact, um, be harder to rub off than normal um, soapstone pencils, and they also make a wooden version of it, and I was somebody gave me the wooden version, and I've worn it down to about two and a half inches, so I went online and ordered uh, this pencil. And this particular pencil here has uh, refill cartridges along with a pencil and probably a click top to extend it. So let's get it out of the package and we'll show you okay, what it is. Okay, here it is out of the package. There's the pencil and there's the refill. And I believe there's uh, either five or six in here uh, in the tube, plus there is one in the pencil. Uh, it has a, uh, a steel collet at the bottom. So when you push the cap on the top, the collet opens up and allows the cartridge to come out and you just carefully set it down like this, push the collet again and drop it till you have the level sticking out that you want. Uh, I have a piece of uh, clean steel, relatively clean steel here that's just got mill scale on it. I've got one piece here that's very rusty and then I'll grab my can of WD-40 and we'll give the rusty piece a shot and we'll see how it writes on that. Like I said, the package claims that it's uh, a superior writing instrument has a built-in sharpener in the cap so you can take the cap off and uh, sharpen the, the end and that it'll uh, write on uh, wet and or oily pieces of metal equally well. And it, I know from a fact from the small uh, wooden pencil that I have that it does stay on easier and harder to smudge off than, uh, than regular soapstone and we'll test that also. All right, let's reset. Okay, first we're going to test the sharpener. So we got to leave it in here and extend the cartridge out. So now I have some cartridge sticking out. So the sharpener is built into the cap here. So we'll put that in there. Give it a few twists. And it is in fact sharpening it. It's a pretty narrow enough line. I'm probably not going to wind up using the sharpener because it's just going to waste material. But for, de for demonstration purposes, we'll show you that. The camera should pick up that it, the tip is, in fact, sharpened now. And uh, now we'll tap that out. Retract this to where it needs to be, which I'm going to leave it out about a quarter of an inch thereabouts. Let me go ahead and pull this out so you can see the collet action. This is how, like right now with that collet down, the cartridge won't go in there. When you push it, the, car the collet extends, and then you can put the cartridge in there and it drops in. And it can retract all the way back inside when you're not using it so the tip won't break off. Now we'll bring it out. Bring it down to, like I said, about a quarter of an inch. Now let's do some marking test. First we'll do, uh, here's a regular soapstone metal marker that most welders are familiar with. We'll put a mark here on the steel plate and then right next to it we'll do a mark all mark. Now you'll see that that mark all mark because of the narrowness you, you have to sharpen the soapstone to get a narrow one. You see I've done a chisel grind here and then this one I ground also, but it does make a finer mark, generally speaking, than most of your soapstone does. So let's bring the soapstone or the steel out here. We'll zero in on it so you can see when I do the uh, rub test. The soapstone being whiter in this particular case on the rusty metal. It's not 
uh, it stands out more than the Silver Streak does. But watch this. See how easy that rubs away? Now I'll do the same test on the Silver Streak. And the Silver Streak has a little bit of an uh, oil or waxy base to it, and it doesn't rub away as easy. Um, now let's go ahead and it says that it'll mark uh, rusty and oily metal. Well, let's go ahead and set this one aside first. We'll bring this piece in. And this is just a piece with mill scale. And uh, we'll go ahead and mark that one, both with a soapstone. And now with the silver streak. And we'll do the same test. We'll do a rub test. Rub my finger to make sure it's dry. Three rubs, and that soapstone mark is nearly completely gone. <clears throat> Excuse me. Two, three, and this mark, while it did fade, to me it's still, uh, and ho hopefully it comes across on the camera, it's still much easier to read than the soapstone is. And actually, because of the size of the tip on here, uh, being smaller, I'm actually putting less pressure with the silver streak than I was putting with the soapstone when I was writing with the soapstone here, because the soapstone is much larger, so I was actually putting more pressure because I didn't want to snap the tip of this off. So that was actually writing that well with uh, with less tip uh, or less pressure. Now let's turn this around, and we will test it now for water. Put a little water on there. Okay, you can see that wet, wet spot on there. So now the soapstone. Barely, barely makes a mark. And then the silver streak. Much more dramatic mark with the silver streak. And then the soapstone through the water, one swipe and it's completely gone. And then with the with the mark all, three swipes, we'll dab that water off, and that mark all line is still visible, and the the soapstone mark not there at all. So now, we'll dry this off, we're actually going to flip it over on the back side here, and we're going to do oil. So this is just a can of WD-40, normal ordinary WD-40, we'll put a shot on here, we'll rub that out a little bit, spreading it out. Same thing, soapstone. Soapstone makes a mark. One swipe. Soapstone mark is completely gone. Now we'll try the mark all. Get it to focus here. Try the mark all in the oil. Again, very clean, very, very visible mark. And now the wipe test, one, two, so that took two, let's see if I wipe the oil off, okay, yeah, two, in the oil, two swipes and the mark all mark was completely gone, I'm going to go ahead and dry this off because I don't want the oil to contaminate that, that tip, but there you have it, side by side comparison of the Markall Silver Streak, it's replacement cartridges to regular soapstone for welding, and uh, it doesn't say it anywhere on the package that it's imported, it just says on the back 
mark all high performance industrial markers and it gives an address of uh, Elk Grove Village, Illinois. La Co or LA Co Industries Inc. But it does not say made in China or Taiwan or anything else anywhere on the, uh, the markers uh, or the uh, packaging. The marker itself only has the Markall Silver Streak uh, designators on it. I've spun the clip around, I've looked on it everywhere and it doesn't say China on it anywhere. And uh, Chinese import law requires that all Chinese products imported from China be clearly marked on them if they are from China. Whether it be stamped into the metal, uh, melted into the plastic, uh, a very visible, usually gold or silver film sticker of some kind, usually gold. This has none of that. So I'm assuming it's made in the USA, but I'd have to do more research to find out for sure. You might be able to just look it up online. Uh, the website was on the package as well. Simply markall.com, M-A-R-K-A-L.com. All right. This is Dan, Hardwood Hollow Bushcraft and Tactical. Uh, and at some point I might be changing the channel name since I'm not, I'm not really a traditional bushcrafter per se. Um, so it's, it might, I'm considering changing it to something along the lines maybe of uh, self-reliance skills channel or something like that. So uh, have a great day. Remember, always practice proper firearm safety. And remember, better to be prepared today than to wish you were prepared tomorrow. This is Dan, Hardwood Hollow Bushcraft Tactical. I'm out. Storm clouds are building above.